Hi, this is Mike, doing the uh, third on my uh, podium door tutorial. We're going to look at some uh, drum beats. So what I've done is to uh, mention some instruments you might want to use here. So we're going to create, we're going to use a project, we're going to add a track, we're going to put a drum instrument on it. So here's some names you might want to Google for. There's DigiDrum Pro, Dramatic, DR Fusion, Drum Core. They are free versions. We're going to open a note editor, enter some notes. We're going to make it loop to show how you can use that to uh, write drum patterns. And we're going to look at phantom copying. Okay, so let's create a new track. Plus, I'll leave it called track 1. I'm going to drag a drum instrument on, which I previously downloaded. It's just a DLL. Let's pick DR Fusion. Okay, so I can left click on the name and get some settings. I can alter the sounds of each uh, drum instrument. I can right click on the name and I can go to some presets. I'm not going to do any of those things here. I'm going to create a two bar pattern. So uh, I'm just going to scroll left here. So, select one bar. I'm going to drag that out with the bottom of these handles to the second bar. I'm going to double click on it. Here's a, an editor. I'm going to set that to drum map mode. Uh, I'm going to restrict it to GM notes only. There's loads of other notes in, on this massive piano keyboard which uh, show up but I want to just restrict it to uh, notes that create a drum sound. Uh, so if I click one of these, not, now not all these work in every drum instrument, it's what they're designed to support. So I guess a kick drum is going to work. There we are. Now that's actually recorded some drum beats. If I play that, I'll just reset the uh, cursor to the beginning there. There are options with these cursors. Now I'll press the space bar to play. There we are, and that's going to stop at the end of that pattern. Now, uh, all these notes are selected, they're highlighted. So I can just delete that. I can press Edit, Delete Events. Uh, if you've got several notes, let's just put, let's just paint some in here. Only the last one selected. If I want to select them all, I hold down the Control key, and that one's highlighted already. So they're all selected. That's called the marquee selection in Podium. I can delete those. Okay, I'm going to put some beats on. Here we go. Uh, let's have kick drum. The start of every uh, four. Double click if you want to delete one in the wrong place. There we are. In fact, this one's in the wrong place. To drag a note, click near the center and drag with a the mouse. There we are. If you click near the edge, you can lengthen the note, which in drum term doesn't make any difference, but we'll use that later on. So I'm going to drag that note to where it should be. I could have copied and pasted. So I can select these beats with the mouse and drag them. In fact, I can drag several at once if I want to, if I've selected them with the control key. You can alter the uh, volume of a note here at the bottom there. So I'm just going to drag that down. Let's just play that by pressing space. You might have heard the change in volume. If I want to select, alter the time signature or tempo, I go down here. There we are. You can also click in a tempo. If you've got a tempo in your head, you can click on this tap tempo uh, button if you want, which is very useful. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, some more instruments on. Let's put a snare here and snare there. Let's make these two bars different. 
So I'm going to put a uh, snare there and a hand clap. Let's play that. Okay, that was, it. It was just a demonstration really. So uh, if I want to play that repeatedly, I can select the loop down here. Uh, you can drag this loop, sort of start and finish area, to wherever you want. It's just right for us at the moment. So I'm going to press play. So while this is running, I can put in some other beats. Just going to put in some tom toms there. So you can build up a pattern like that, and that's, that's a great feature. However, in real music, we don't want exactly the same pattern all the time. We might want that pattern through a verse, and we might want to alter it in a chorus or a break, something like that. So I'm going to shut this down for now. So this area is selected, and you can see a little version, if you look closely, a little version of the uh, beats. If I use the control and insert key together, it duplicates the bar. So here we go. I've duplicated that four times. So these are phantom copies. If I change one, they all change. Sometimes you want that. So this last one's highlighted, for instance. Uh, I'm just going to take out some of those uh, items in the first half of that pattern. So let's double click on it, scroll up to see. These instruments are scattered around a bit. So what I'm going to show you is uh, enable notes used on the track. That shows you the main stuff there. So I'm going to get rid of the first kick drum, first snare drum, second kick drum. And you see, if you look up here, very closely, they gone from each bar. If you want to make one of these unique, let's say it's the uh, start of a chorus, perhaps this last one's going to be the start of a chorus here. So I right click on it and convert to unique copy. I can now edit this. Let's, uh, let's take out all the kick drums, that won't sound any good but we'll do it. You can see, if you look closely, they're gone from the uh, last bar, but they still exist in the other bar. So let's play that. I should take off looping, by the way. I'm not going to use that anymore. Now I made a copy of the bar. Let's play that. Okay, so you could hear the point of that, I mean it's rubbish, but the point of that is to show you that the uh, last bar is now a unique copy. Okay, that's all we've got for now, so next time we're going to uh, use a different instrument on top of the drum beat. Bye for now.